Turning to East Africa now, a Human Rights Watch report on Tanzania paints a grim picture of democracy and freedom of expression. Human Rights Watch says since the election of President John Magufuli in December 2015, Tanzania has witnessed a marked decline in respect for freedom of expression, association and assembly. The report cites increasing attacks on opposition members, journalists and critics of the government by Tanzanian authorities. Now for more insight on this story, I'm joined by Zito Kabwe, a Tanzanian opposition politician and founder of the Alliance for Change and Transparency Political Party. Mr. Kabwe, welcome to Africa 54 and to VOA. Thank you very much. Now let's start off by telling us what is the status of democracy in Tanzania as we speak. Democracy is in decline. Uh, since uh, the last four years, the opposition parties are not allowed to organize, to conduct political activities. For those who are members of parliament, uh, they are just allowed to operate within their constituencies, although there are a lot of standing blocks. Myself is an example. A few weeks ago, uh, the police uh, banned a rally in my constituency. Uh, a number of uh, leaders of political parties are in court for different uh, kind of cases. And uh, we live in a situation where any time you are in court, so long as you are, you are opposition. So we are in really, really uh, 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 nose diving as far as dem democracy is concerned. Now, as you are coming from Africa to the US, I read reports, very recent, we're talking less than 72 hours, that there are death threats against you. Uh, who are the death threats from and for what reason, do you know? Maybe I'll start with the second, with the reason. Uh, uh, I wrote a letter to the World Bank to caution them about the loan they are going to give to Tanzania uh, on education, uh, because that loan uh, is inherently discriminatory against the uh, uh, girls, uh, school girls who get pregnant. Uh, in accordance to the uh, election manifesto by the ruling party, statements by various public leaders, and also with an example from uh, the sister uh, country, island of Zanzibar, the young girls are allowed or were supposed to be allowed to go back to school after delivery. But President Magufuli has banned that. And the World Bank uh, wanted to finance uh, the education loan that did not address the issue of discrimination. So the ruling party members of parliament and uh, supporters of the ruling party uh, uh, went to the floors of parliament, threatened that I should be killed because I'm not patriotic by stopping that loan. But uh, I take the, the threats very seriously uh, because uh, we have an example of our colleague who was shot, uh, Mr. Tundulisu, and uh, he's now in Belgium in exile. Uh, so we take the threats very seriously. But also don't be surprised when I land back in the country to hear that I've been uh, uh, jailed because the government uh, uses uh, money laundering offenses to jail the critics. So money laundering offenses are a disguised way of uh, detention uh, without trial. No. So don't be surprised if you hear that I'm arrested the moment I land in the country. Yeah, because 2019, they ha you were banned from traveling out of the country. Yes, in How June 2019, I was banned that was uh, from lifted? traveling. Yes, uh, I had to ask a permission from speaker uh, to travel to during this, uh, this trip that I, I am here. Now, let's talk about the 2020 elections. We're talking months. You are going to be holding a presidential parliamentary elections. What is the playing field like? The playing field is not fair. Uh, that's why we are going around meeting uh, partners of Tanzania in order to ask them to pressurize the government to make sure that the election is free and fair. The Electoral Commission is not independent. Uh, but also we have uh, cases where the election was nullified. For example, in Zanzibar, uh, uh, the election was nullified and the current government of Zanzibar is illegitimate government. And uh, the last, uh, last November, November 2019, there were civic elections in the country and 96% of opposition candidates were barred from contesting. So we are worried that the country is uh, uh, going towards single party system. That's why you are mobilizing the international community to pressurize the, pre uh, the government of President Magufuli to make sure that we have a free, 
fair and credible election in 2020. So is the opposition united uh, in terms of how they are going to mobilize this and how you're going to fight for the rights of Tanzanians? And are you planning to run for the presidency? The circumstances in the country force up to, to unite uh, because uh, our biggest goal should be to remove uh, President Magufuli and CCM from office so that we reorganize our country, we build uh, Tanzania that is thriving, uh, providing economic opportunities uh, for, uh, for the citizens and making sure that we, uh, we address the uh, shortcomings in the criminal justice system uh, in the country whereby people are just arrested and being imprisoned without uh, without uh, completeness, completeness of the of the investigations, and uh, so those circumstances force us to unite. So there is no way we'll face the election without being uniting. Will I run or not? It will depend on the decision of the parties in coalition. All right. Now you're talking of incarceration. Tell us about the status of the journalists like Kabendera who have been in jail. What is their status like? Up to now, uh, Eric is still in jail. Every time he goes to court, they say that. Uh, the investigations are still continuing. Uh, we heard that uh, he has applied for a plea again, a system whereby the, there are negotiations between the prosecutor and him, but he's still in jail and many other uh, human rights activists. Uh, today, uh, on the 5th uh, of February, uh, Tito Magotti, a lawyer from the Human Rights Association and his colleague, uh, were brought to court and the prosecution said uh, uh, investigations are continuing. And we'll, we'll see more of this if the international community will not come hard on Tanzania. Wow, Mr. Kabwe, thank you very much for bringing us up to speed on what's going on in Tanzania. We hope for the best. Thank you so much. Right. Uh, Mr. Zito Kabwe is a Tanzanian opposition politician and founder of the Alliance for Change and Transparency Political Party.